already saw about the KNN, we already said, first of all, we have saw about the logistic regression, we saw about the decision tree, we saw about the random forest and also we have saw about the KNN. Until now, we have get the beta accuracy in the random forest that was approx, uh, we can just say 67.98. So for this particular video, we are going to start with the new model, that is new, uh, that is model that is basically called as a support vector machine. And that is the one of the most important algorithm. We can just say everywhere we are going to use much about this one, support vector machine. That is basically we are calling as SVM for now. So now what we are going to do, first of all, we are going to import the SVM library and that is SVM model from the SQL learn. You can just write here from sklearn.svm import that is basically called as a support vector and classifier, support vector classifier. Just run this one. Okay. Now the next task is basically how the model is going to be performed. Then you can just write here support model underscore support vector machine. Okay. And you can just write here SBC means basically we are just creating the object of that particular model. I can just write here creating object. Creating object of model. Okay. This is what you are going to write here model underscore SVM. And then after what we are just getting underscore SVC, we are going to pass the two parameter. The first parameter will be basically your the kernel. So what kernel you are going to pass, whether it is a linear or the RVF or the polynomial, you can just check it's, it, it's like the same as it is what you have done the hyperparameter tuning. The, for now, the most as predicted like 70% time, 70% time you are getting a better accuracy whenever you are keeping the kernel as RVF. The, okay, so that is basically and then after you can just uh, create the object of this particular support vector machine. And even you can go with the linear, we will check for the linear also and for the RBF also. Linear basically means you, you are able to, uh, that is a uh, classify the two class or uh, classify, predict the two class or separate the two class by the simple line. You are just drawing a line on the, on the above you are saying that, that the particular, all the data belongs to the one class and below the line we are going saying that all the data will going to belong to the zero class. You can just go with this particular, okay. The next thing, next step is basically you are going to check the kernel like you are you have something circle so you can just go with the circle also that is polynomial and this all thing we are going to see this thing again and now what we are just doing to now we are going to train our model so model training so i hope so now and up to this video you are able to know everything how the model is going to be trained and how model you are going to do this we they have a parameter tuning and this all thing i hope so you are getting this so x underscore train and then after you are just writing y underscore train and then after just run this one that's it is okay you are just training your model it might take might little bit day time yeah already your model has been trained now what we are going to do we are going to do the make prediction part okay so make prediction is really easy you will just take as it is that you predict underscore spm and then after what we have to just pass model underscore spm dot predict we are going to write here dot predict okay dot predict here we are going to pass here for the x test and let's see your model has been predicted what actual uh, on the but now we are going to go with the accuracy score so with the help of accuracy score you will able to see on which particular model uh, that is model you are getting a better accuracy so that is basically we, i'm just writing here accuracy underscore score i'm just writing as vm okay accuracy underscore score i'm just writing here and you are just going to pass for the y underscore ter, uh, that is uh, basically test and then after paired underscore svm that's it and then after you can just print or whatever you can just do you can just write here underscore svm and uh, and multiply with the 100 let's see i hope so we will get better accuracy yeah we are getting 68.90 i hope so i was expecting that somewhat we will get some better accuracy than all the models because support vector machine is really the most important algorithm of the machine learning because every the most of time if you are going to say that which one is the best classifier algorithm we can't say every time the SVM but it's like a standard form we can say that we can go with the SVM we, you have to just go much detail in the SVM what is the kernel is how the model we are going to more theoretical part how with the help of support vector machine the main function of the uh, that is basically for the support vector how you are just choosing the baseline to separate the two class uh, basically you can just write here even linear also see if i'm going to write here linear or uh, even you can just see what accuracy you are getting linear you are getting in linear you are getting 61 percent but in the rvf you are getting much good accuracy see, support i'm just writing something mistake here so it will just it uh, for now it will just say which one is basically a line you can't take that line because you have to pass the exact what parameter it should be like that is a poly polynomial or whether it is a uh, that is a 
we can call it basically uh, that is linear and the rvf in the polynomial you're getting 64 i already said to you in expected that rvf is always giving a better accuracy okay so than of the any other uh, kernel for the svm so that was all about the support vector machine it was really short video so we are going to see on the every time we are going to see if which model is giving a better accuracy and then after we will just finalize and we will take we will make that that model is the best uh, model for predicting the water quality okay that's all for this video. See you in the next video. Thank you.